Last time on Total Drama Random Island, campers were tasked with going through Chef's rigorous boot camp. Sammy and Kitty stole food from Chef's fridge, Justin found Millie's notebook that had dirt on everyone on it, Taylor made a deal with Pete to keep each other in, and at elimination, LED rigged the vote so Ella would go out instead of Millie. Justin asked Owen if he flipped on the vote, and Owen asked why he would do that. He liked Ella as much as he did. Justin says that he was probably thinking that she was getting in the way of his game, wasn't he? How much did Millie give you to eat? DJ tells him to chill out. There has to be an explanation they aren't seeing yet. Justin asks what it could possibly be, and DJ says, I don't know, but you need to figure it out instead of doing this third degree interrogation. Justin in confessional says that DJ is probably the smartest person on the island currently. If not for him, Owen would be hanging by his grease-filled toes until he confessed. Elodie asks how Millie is doing, and Millie says that she's just shocked she's still in. Guess someone else must have been as sick of Ella and Justin as she was. Elodie says not exactly. She just made true on her promise in her own way. Millie asks how, and Elodie says, says that she rigged the votes. Millie asks what she means by that, and Elodie says that she found where the voting box was held and she rigged it so Millie could stay. Millie says that it's seriously against the rules. What if the others find out? Elodie says it's a one-time thing. Don't worry, she promises she won't do it again. Besides, she just wanted to save a friend. Nothing more, nothing less. Millie in confessional says she doesn't know. Someone with that much power is really threatening. If she can rig it once, she can rig it again. Jock tells Taylor that he knows about the secret alliance she has with Pete, and Taylor says that it doesn't really matter. Threats won't work on her anymore. She's going out with dignity. Jock says that she misread his intentions. He doesn't like her, but it wouldn't hurt to keep her in the game a bit longer to split apart Kitty and Dwayne. Taylor says he's so evil, and Jock says evil no, I'm just resourceful is all. Taylor in confessional says that she doesn't really have a choice but to trust Jock at this point. Whatever, it'll keep her in the game longer. Sammy is talking to Kitty and she says, and then Amy shaved my head bald so that they could tell us apart. Kitty says that's awful, hair is like one of the few things us girls can really use to make ourselves different, and she used it as a weapon against you. Pete goes over and asks how the ladies are doing, and Kitty says that she's doing well, is Dwayne busy or something? Pete says nah, he's just taking a leak, so he thought he'd check in on the youngins, but he did have something to ask. Sammy says sure, what's up? Pete says that he doesn't really trust Jock, it's just something about him, it's like he's a predator looking for his chance to strike him. Kitty says he's just being paranoid, but Sammy says not necessarily, she sort of felt it too. Jock has been changing slowly, in the beginning he was only willing to help our team, but over time he seems to have let his moral code be pushed further and further astray. I'm worried he may be... Dwayne comes over and asks how the girls are doing, and Kitty says that they can continue this another time. For now, they need to look their best for the challenge. Dwayne asks if he interrupted something important, and Pete says not really, just a yap fest. Girls, am I right? They both laugh and leave. Chris welcomes the teams to their next challenge. Today we'll have two teams competing in a set of three extreme sport challenges. Jock says in confessional that this is right up his alley. First challenge will have one of you skydiving while your team has to push a couch to the landing zone. If you hit the landing zone, you will earn a point. Jock says that Pete would love to do this, and Pete says, wait, what? Chris says that Pete will be competing for Killer Bass while DJ will compete for Screaming Gophers. DJ says he's never wanted to skydive and Justin says not to worry, he will be fine. Probably. Pete says that it's awfully high up and DJ says that it sure is. Millie asks why it's so heavy before seeing Owen sleeping on the couch. Elodie says they will have to improvise and so they draw the mark on Owen. Pete says he can't do this and DJ says not to worry, he will hit the mattress before accidentally pushing him and he starts falling. Jock asks what everyone's opinion of Pete is and Dwayne says he's great, reminds him of his buddies from high school. Did he tell them the story of how they won the football championship? Taylor says yes, we've all heard that story a million times. Gosh, you're already getting dementia. Kitty tells her to be nice. Dwayne is sweet, unlike her. He doesn't deserve this. She's cut off by Pete slamming into the ground and Dwayne calls out his name and Pete groans. DJ jumps next and after some difficulty with the parachute, lands safely. At the next part of the challenge, teams will have to ride a moose. The team that lasts the longest will win it for their team. Dwayne says he will do it. He may not look it, but he can tame any beast. I mean, he is able to be with his wife after all. I mean... Millie says that she will try, but not to expect much from her. Justin says it's alright, if they lose, she will be the one going home. The round starts and Millie almost immediately gets thrown into the socks. Dwayne is next, and after being thrown around quite a bit, he is able to hold on as the moose breaks out of the pen, Dwayne screaming for help as he's taken away. Justin asks Elodie if she thinks last elimination was strange, and Elodie says that whatever conspiracy theory he has to leave her out of it. Justin says that he just finds it strange that... Elodie says that she doesn't want to hear about it. Keeping Millie in is better for his game anyway. 
Justin asks how, and Elodie says to think about it, they're keeping the person that is hated the most in the game. If push comes to shove, they'd much rather keep you in than Millie. Justin says that's actually smart. B was really holding you back. I couldn't see your true potential when you were with him. The final challenge is mud skiing, and Jock says that this is his challenge to win, and Taylor says that she guesses she can drive as long as she doesn't get her nails dirty. Justin says he will ski then, and Elodie says she will drive. Jock tells Taylor that if things get hairy to use this, and she gives her a knife. Taylor says that he's evil. She'll play along. Justin goes first, and he's actually doing amazing as Taylor is mesmerized by how he looks, and Jock tells her to snap out of it, and Taylor says, Oh right, sorry Justin, you're hot, but victory is hotter. She pulls the knife out, but before she can cut it, a branch rips her top off and Taylor screams as Justin loses his focus and hits a rock, letting go of the handle as Taylor goes flying off the jet ski onto a bear. Chris says that the killer bass can win it with this. Jock just has to make it through to get the victory for the killer bass. Jock goes next and is acing it. Elodie is worried that she will fail, so she is about to cut the rope before saying sorry to Jock, but it crashes into a rock, sending Elodie flying and Jock soaring to the finish line. Chris says that the killer bass have done it. They are the victors. Before elimination, DJ is with Justin and DJ says no way. He has stuck true to the alliance the entire time and he wants to change it now. Justin asks what the problem is, I mean Owen is a liability in challenges. DJ says how about Millie writing trash on all of us yet now you want to keep her in? Where's your integrity man? Justin says that it's not that deep, besides Owen will win any vote, we might as well send him out while we still can. DJ says that he doesn't know man, he thought that they were bros for life but they've been getting rid of their members every vote. Justin says to listen, he's either with them or against them, and if he's against them, well he can flip the vote to him real quick. DJ says fine. He'll vote Owen, but only for what he did in the cooking challenge and almost costing him his life in this one, not for a strategic reason. Chris says that elimination, as you know, if you don't receive a marshmallow, you'll be forced to walk the dock of shame and you can never ever return to camp. Justin and DJ, you are safe. Elodie, you are safe as well. Okay, that leaves Owen, who almost got DJ killed and has been a burden in several other unrelated challenges, or Millie, the fakest person on the island. Well. Looks like Owen's luck has finally run out. He grabs a loudspeaker. Millie, you're safe. He throws her a marshmallow. Owen says it's too bad, but at least he wasn't the first one gone. DJ says if it's any consolation, he can have his marshmallow. Justin and Elodie give theirs to him as well, and Millie says she will give hers to him, and Owen says no thanks, I'm okay. Owen goes on to the boat, and in confessional, Millie says she's really gonna miss the big guy. Justin in confessional says that was the hardest thing he's had to do, but Millie, your time is running out fast. And that's that for Total Drama Random Island Episode 12. What did you think? Question of the week, who are the two competitors you think are coming back at Merge? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Random Island.